Welcome to our weekly Forex market analysis, and this is in preparation for trading for the week of December 11th to 15th, 2017. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. So as usual, we will start off by taking a look at our calendar here. So on Monday, we don't have um, much of red news here. So that's all right. Tuesday, we have CPI numbers for the British pound. So CPI numbers are very important. So we do need to keep that in mind. And then for the US here, we have PPI numbers, which is um, a precursor. This is a leading indicator. So that's important as well. We also have ECB President Draghi speaking. So again, this will be very important and um, the market will be basically focusing on what the outlook is, and especially with the Brexit going on. So that will be in the forefront again this week. So last week, um, we heard some rumors about first that there wasn't going to be a deal. And then later on, we heard more rumors saying that they, they were very close to a deal and as a result result we saw a big um, whipsaw in price so that's something to be kept in mind going forward like today uh, sorry this week as well we brexit um, will play a role in what happens in the market especially with british pound there so that's important and then we have rba governor Lau speaking so again two central bankers uh, on Tuesday, so that will be very important. So expect volatility with both um, Euro as well as Australian dollar. And then going into, uh, going into our Wednesday here, we have average earnings index as well as employment numbers out of uh, UK there. So again, that will be very important as well because anytime we have these numbers, um, these are the numbers that uh, basically the central bank pays attention to. So we have to, uh, you know, we have to pay attention to these as well and they generally create volatility in the market. And then we have CPI and core CPI numbers, inflation numbers again are very important and we have inventories. Okay, so this is very, very important coming up on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern, we have the rate statement for the US. So on, the, uh, on Friday, we have non-farm payroll numbers come out and non-farm payroll numbers were positive, which gave it um, a bit of a positive uh, sort of going into our FOMC rate statement. It gives it a lift. Uh, it gave the US dollar a lift. So now the question is, will they raise rates? So if the Fed does raise rates, this will be positive for the US dollar. So they had said, or the Fed had said that you know, they were projecting three rate hikes and we have had two so far. So this is the last um, rate statement for this year. If we do not see an interest rate hike for this one, um, the chances of US dollar tumbling are pretty high. So that's sort of where we need to, um, how, well, how we need to treat this. We are expecting or the market is expecting a quarter point rate hike here. So we'll go with that. If the rate hike does not come, then that will be negative for the US dollar. If the rate hike comes, then um, it will be positive for the US dollar. However, one thing we do need to be careful is sometimes they will do a rate hike, but their commentary is not positive. So they will say, um, they will talk about, you know, doing the rate hike, but then they'll say something like, um, you know, decrease the outlook for the following year, or they'll say they're worried about some things. So that could also be negative for the US dollar. So that's what we need to keep in mind going into Wednesday here, but we are expecting an interest rate hike from the Fed. Um, so expect a lot of volatility for the US dollar. Um, all right, on Thursday, then we have um, the LIBOR rate here for Swiss franc. We have monetary policy statement. So another central bank. So this week is full of central bankers. So expect a lot of volatility here. So here, Swiss National Bank monetary policy assessment. That will be important. Then we have the press conference. So Swiss franc will likely see volatility here. Retail sales numbers for British pound. But very, very important here. 
the MPC official bank rate votes. So last time there were a couple of uh, MPC members who wanted to do an interest rate hike. So this time the forecast is 009. So um, now we'll have to see how that um, how that plays out if they. Uh, we're not expecting them to raise rates at this point, especially with Brexit negotiations going on. But again, expect volatility and it will be the commentary that will make a difference here. And then yet another central bank here, we have ECB press conference um, and that is expected to create volatility as well as a minimum bid rate. So this is the interest rate as well. And they're not... Um, we're not looking for them to raise interest rates at this point. The one thing with ECB would be more for the tapering program. So the question will be, are they going to, you know, keep on tapering their, um, their asset purchase program? If they are, if ECB talks about that, then that will be positive for the Euro. And again, it depends on the outlook on the commentary from all these central banks. So this week we have full of central banks. So caution is um, definitely something we need to um, to have this week. And then we have Bank of Canada, Governor Pola speaking. So Bank of Canada has already, uh, you know, they decided not to raise rates. So this one's kind of passed. But um, again, you know, we'll have to sort of look at the commentary here. All right. So that was a lot of stuff. A um, lot of, lot of central bankers this week. So very, very um, important week for all the crosses, really. All right, so let's go on to our charts. We will start off with our Euro dollar. So Euro dollar here, we have seen price come down. So this is bearish. So now we are into an important support and resistance area. So right over here, as we can see, this is a very important support and resistance area. So outlook is bearish, but then do keep in mind we have all kinds of central bankers coming out. So we have ECB as well as FOMC. So things could change here. But based on our, our weekly candle close, this is looking bearish. So we're looking for price to move lower. And the target here would be 1.1550. 1 so 1550. So that will be the target to the downside. However, like I said, we are into an important support and resistance area. So what that means is that price could do one of these and then push back higher. But for now, based on just the purely the technicals here, looking for price to drop and 1.1550 will be the target to the downside. Pound here, Pound has had quite an interesting sort of moves here over the last, um, last few days. And mostly it was because of the Brexit talks. So every time we hear a rumor that there is, uh, there is going to be um, an agreement reached, that's positive for the British pound. And as a result, we have seen that go up. And this week we saw price drop and go up and drop. So there was quite volatile. So looking at the daily chart, we can see price has done this back and forth quite a bit. So from weekly perspective, this is a very, very neutral price close. So which means price can go either way. So at this point, we will sort of do this. So we'll treat this as a range because price is just staying over here and really a couple things that can, um, are there, two, three different things that can move the British pound. One is we have um, we have the Brexit talks. If they're positive, it could get pushed up. So this is purely neutral here for British pound. Brexit talks, if they're positive, they talk about reaching an agreement that could push it up. And if there is um, Bank of England, if they talk about um, their commentary is bullish, if they are not concerned about their economy, if they are, um, if they are more bullish on the economy, then this could go up and as well as FOMC. So if the US does not rate, raise rates, in that case, uh, British pound is likely to go up as well. So those are the different things that we will have to keep in mind this week. So for uh, for British pound, this is very, very neutral. And in terms of our targets, 
this is, so I'm going to bracket it because this is very neutral. So if the price breaks above 1.3550, then we are looking for price to move up to the next level. So we'll just need to see which direction price breaks out of this range. If it breaks up to the upside, then I'm looking for price to go above 135.50, do a back test and then go further. And if we see a break to the downside, then we could see one of these. So price breaks through 133.20 and then goes to 130.50. So those would be the two targets on either side because this is a very neutral close. So we'll have to wait and see. Aussie here, Aussie was quite bearish. So we had a range bound uh, sort of scenario for a while and now we have broken down to or we have broken to the downside here so this is a very bearish close i'm looking for price to follow through to the next level here the next target is 0 0.73 20 level so looking for price to drop so bearish on aussie and then New Zealand dollar, that is a bearish pin bar close here as well. So looking for price to move towards the back. So this was the bit of a range bound here before. So looking for price to move lower, first target would be 6780 level, the bottom here. And then the next target would be 0.6680 level, the next, the bottom of this candle right here. So those will be the two targets to the downside. Um, and the outlook is bearish. But again, with all the US crosses, please keep in mind that we have FOMC this week. All right, so this one here, our, we have Canadian dollar, dollar CAD. So Bank of Canada was, um, was not as bullish and they essentially said they're not looking to raise rates just yet. And as a result, we saw dollar CAD move up higher. So now we're sitting at 128.50. Uh, the first target to the upside is still 129.20 here. And then once price breaks out of this range, because it is still range bounds, as we can see for the last several weeks, price has stayed in this range. So we do need to see the price break out of the range first before we can start uh, a long trade. Uh, so this 129.20 will be the area that we'll be looking for. So break above 129.20. If it does and holds above, then I'm looking for price to go to 131.50. Otherwise, we could just see price do this and come back, especially if FOMC is negative, we could see a drop. And in that case, price target would be 1.2600. So this one is range bound. So we just need to see a breakout before we can uh, take a long or short position. So as long as price stays below 129.20, it's still range bound and I'm looking for price to drop. If it breaks above, then that will turn bullish. Okay, Euro Swiss franc here, it has hit the highs several times here and price is, this is where we are. So it is doing, making this a bit of a triangle here. So price is getting pushed up. It's getting squeezed up higher here. So we haven't seen a breakout yet. So as we can see, it's just, um, just coiling between these two levels. So as a result of that, so we need generally when we have an ascending triangle, price tends to break up higher and go like that. But with with ECB this week and Brexit and everything else, so be careful with uh, trading this week. So overall, it is getting pushed up higher. So we need to see how price will play out here. So looking at our daily chart, as we can see, it is still making its way higher. So it is pushing into the high. So at this point, um, outlook is bullish and the next target would be 1.1820, but we do need to see a break above 1.1720 um, level here because if we don't, if the price does not break up, break to the upside, then we could see one of these moves as well. So very critical to see if the price will break above 1.1720 or if it holds below. If it breaks above, target is 1.1820. If it stays below, then the target is 1.1538. So that's our plan there. Euro Swiss, sorry, pound Swiss franc, it broke to the upside. And now the next target is 1.3520 level here. So this is bullish. 
um, and looking for, so this is bullish to neutral because we do have a pin bar here, but the target is 135.20 to the upside. Dollar Swiss franc here, um, bullish close. And as a result, we are looking for further move to the upside. Target is a 1.00 level here, 1.0102. So the next level up here. So bullish for dollar Swiss franc. Pound CAD here looking at, uh, this is bullish. The outlook is bullish and price has been pushing higher here. So target is 1.7480 level here. So looking for price to move up higher. So pound CAD looks bullish. Pound yen. Pound yen is looking neutral at the moment. So as we can see, price tried to push up higher, but now we are at the top of this range that price has been trading for uh, several weeks here because we are looking at a weekly candle here. Price has been in this range for quite some time. So, <coughs> excuse me. So now the question is, will the price um, do this? So we could see price test the high and then come back into the range. So as a range bound market, this would be the first um, expectation. So I'm expecting the price to target the high and then um, come back into the range if it fails. But if let's say Brexit talks, um, comments are quite positive, then it could break out of this range and we could see it go into this uh, next target level, which is actually, let's go here, 15600. So that will be the next target to the upside. But first thing, first my base case scenario is a range bound move and looking for price to come back into the range towards the middle of the range. So that's pound yen. Euro yen here looks very range bound as we can see for last several weeks, price has just gone sideways. So this is similar there as well. Um, now that we are into the high, I'm looking for price to drop and come back into the range. So this um, I am looking for test of the high and then a drop back into the range. So this is, uh, Euro yen is range bound as well. Aussie yen here, Aussie, we have seen price go and test this level here now, and it seems to be rejecting this. So our bias, so the neutral, this is a very neutral candle close and so neutral to bearish. So I'm looking for price to come back towards 8430 level. And if it breaks that level, then I'm looking for price to um, come down to this 8260-ish level in the bottom here. So right now this looks uh, bearish, bearish to neutral. So in this case, I'm looking for price to come to the bottom here. 84.30 will be the first target and then 82.60 if it breaks that level. Dollar yen. Dollar yen is bullish. Price has moved up higher. So we had this um, two neutral candle kind of closes here. Now this looks quite bullish. So looking for price to go up higher into 114.70 level. So dollar yen is looking bullish. CAD yen, um, let's take a look. CAD yen is kind of similar to Aussie where we have seen price come back. So as a result, I'm looking for, so I went and tested this high over here. So now I'm looking for price to drop here. So the target would be 86.80 level, which is the bottom of this pin. So looking for price to drop uh, for CAD yen. And let's do a quick one for, um, here we go. So this is New Zealand yen. New Zealand yen has been holding up. So we are seeing this type of a, um, ascending triangle here as well, but it's not moving up very, very strongly. So the move is a little compressed. So it looks like a compressed move. So basically what could happen here is this level 7780 is a very critical level. So as long as price stays below this, we could see price do one of these. Um, and then, so I'm looking for price to basically test 7780 and then draw back into the 73. 7730 level and play with this our trend line and at some point it would have it would break out of this just like 
euro yen is doing at the moment but this is not as bullish as euro yen um this is still it is pushing up so it's looking bullish my target is 77.80 and then the next one above that if it breaks higher would be 78.50 level but um, we could see price come into this level and then drop from here so that's something um, that I'm looking for retest of 77.80 and then drop back into this trend line, which is 77.35 level. Okay, any other crosses to take a look at? All right, perfect. So we will call it a wrap. Um, you guys have a wonderful rest of the weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.